We are going to make a parallelogram based on property here, D, that I have. One pair of sides congruent and parallel. So I gotta make a parallel side, kind of like doing a trapezoid, but then make the sides there congruent. So we'll start off with a trapezoid idea. Draw a line. Make a perpendicular to it. Again, those circles can be any size. They just have to be on that line. Draw that perpendicular. Make another perpendicular up top there. Circles, draw a line through HI. So I've got two parallel lines. Now I need to make a segment up here and a segment down here that are congruent. Well, that's pretty simple to make congruent things. Just do circles that are same size. I'm just trying to move B out of the way. B doesn't want to get out of the way. So, but I want to make them a certain size. A size I know. So make them the same size. I'll just pick the size, or I could actually, you know, draw a segment down here and then let's do that. I'm gonna make them this big. That's gonna be my segment. So I'm gonna come up here, get the compass, make the compass this big, and put it on that line, maybe. I gotta put it on a dot, don't I? Boom. Put it on a dot. So I also need a dot up top. And I'll have a dot up here. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing, get that compass and make it JK and put it right there. Now I need to know where the endpoints are. So intersect two objects. Boom boom. And Boom, there is the parallelogram. It goes from M to N to P to O to M. I made one side parallel, and I also made that side congruent. The parallel is because I made you know these perpendiculars here. The congruent is because I made them both the same size, using a same size circle, using a circle as big as JK. Here's why I made a JK, because if I change J and K, my circle, circles grow, so my parallelogram grows. That's why I made it JK, just for fun. You could have picked a size. You could have made them size three, size four. They just wouldn't have changed like this. So I made one side parallel to another side. And then I made that side also the same as the other side by using the final circles. These four circles on the left made us our parallels. And then, let's go back. Start the line, draw two circles, make a perpendicular. Draw two more circles, make another perpendicular. That means the top and the bottom line are parallel. Then, I made two circles the same size, put them on the lines, found their endpoints, made connected dots. That's a parallelogram based on one set of sides that are parallel and congruent.